what's going on guys we are back tonight with another video for you and i would like to do a showcase video on the newer card here nazinga finally got a hold of a copy it took me several days for some reason to get this card i don't know why but uh it says when drawn for every history card in your opponent's hand your non-history cards in hand gain plus five until played and then when played, if this is the only history card in your deck, uh, eight of your random non-history cards, wherever they are, get plus 18 until played. So pretty good buff there uh, on eight cards in your deck. So almost half your deck getting pl plus 18 until played if this card is by itself. And because it wants to be by itself, it kind of seems to me like it would be great in the colors deck. So that's what we're doing. We're doing a Colors Brew, um, dropping in Heimdall. So if we have at least six cards in your deck, you're going to get the plus 30 on the round. Color Spectrum, when played, if your deck has two or fewer cards from any album, your cards from that album, wherever they are, gain plus 11 until played. So you can see we have a little 222 shell, obviously aside from history because it wants to be by itself. But it does get the buff still from Color Spectrum, which is nice. <clears throat> Noticed most of our cards uh, we were picking were less than 50 base power, so we went with Bob at Worm, try to combat some of those larger decks. Does hit Nazinga, but I'm not super worried about that, just because the main reason I'm playing her is for the buff. And the other one is Rapunzel it hits, but she, she still provides to me, uh, in my mind, such good buff anyway. With the plus 90 that it does to me it's not a huge factor i feel like for me to not play it so <coughs> excuse me so we we're opting for that anyway other ocean card we went with flying dutch if we get a little behind get that nice plus 48 buff our uh arthro or uh, uh paleontology cards we went with artho plora when played your opponent's cards in hand with 45 or more Lose 30 this turn and next. And Pecking Man, when drawn, if it's after round two, a random card in your hand gains plus 28 perm. And then when returned, an opponent's random card in hand loses 28 perm. So, again, just dinging our opponent. And it's a nice little three drop. Try to keep the curve low since we don't have uh, Energy Gainer. Uh, door to Hell, just giving us nice buff that we need, plus 50. Yellow Jacket, great hold card. Just dinging our opponents, minus 5 until played. And then when played, your opponent's cards in hand lose 24 on the turn. Going to try out Dolly again. Ain't played her in a little bit. Just give some permanent buff for the late game. First time, plus 8. And then every time after that, plus 16. Fireworks Galaxy, when played, your cards adjacent get plus 25 on the turn. So for only 2 energy, pretty good quick drop. Uh, Chrono Gun. Uh, card opposite, minus 100. Space Shuttle, just another nice little two-drop. When returned, a random card in your hand gains plus 28 until played. Like I said, we went colors, so we opted for Eros. Uh, when played, if your deck has exactly two arts and culture cards, give those cards, wherever they are, plus 20 until played, and repeat for each album. So any album with two ofs gets the plus 20 until played and just finished up with a bunch of arts and culture cards we got archangel just a strong card gonna give some more permanent power and until played buffs michelangelo gonna buff all our legendary cards plus 10 until played and opted charles dickens for the plus 35 perm so <clears throat> that's the deck give her a try we'll see if we can get a win tonight probably only do one game since it is later than i'm recording tonight got a little behind the behind the curve with some friends over and uh really didn't get a chance to get this recorded as early as i wanted so probably just do one game but uh yeah definitely uh, if you guys enjoy the content as always please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button we are still trying to grow the channel up <clears throat> all right let's see what we're up against here all right we got our bobbit on the rip always like to see that i see some uh bunch of life on land so it makes me think it's a bird deck he's got the one paleo card 
one science card, so I'd be surprised if it wasn't a bird's deck. Yep, that's what I figured. This could be a tough one for us. I actually haven't played this deck against birds yet. Played it against a few other decks, but somehow didn't come up against birds. But you guys know, when I hit the record button, we're getting a birds game. That's just how it goes every time. Uh, let's get our Nazinga down. I want to get it going. Try to get it back as often as possible. We'll go Fireworks and Michelangelo. <clears throat> All right, opponent's got a little lead here. This could be a tough one for us. Like I said, I, I don't know. I'm kind of slow out the gate a little bit, I think. We'll see, though. Maybe not. He's up 147. We did draw Dutch and Door. Door to Hell. So we have a good shot here if we want to try to steal this. I think we go for it. 500. That probably steals it. <clears throat> there we go. I'll take that. Gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. All right. We got to get our dolly back going. Start cycling. Let's see here. Do it like that. All right, he's going to have a good turn with the Egyptian Night Jar. Giving that plus 25. All right, a little behind again. It's all right, though. There's our Heimdall. Drew it a turn late. It's unfortunate. All right, so I need to play Dickens in this slot here. For those of you that asked me about cycling, this should let me draw it now. Turn four. I'm sorry, round four, turn one, playing it in that slot right there. So be, just knowing where, where, where you're playing your cards and when you'll draw them back, really important, right? Because it can really kind of sway a game. <clears throat> so now I know I'm drawing Dickens at the perfect time as long as I keep playing three cards every turn. So that's really beneficial in my mind to kind of know that. All right, he's getting the plus 55. Do we got it? We might still get it. We do. It's close, though. Too close for comfort, but we got it. All right, we're going to kick things off with Heimdall now. And talking about cycling again, if you play this on turn one, anytime it's turn one like this, if you play whatever card in slot three, you will automatically draw it back in at the start of the round in the, not the next round, but the following round. So this one, playing Heimdall in this slot, ensures I draw it round five, turn one. So keep that kind of stuff in mind, because again, it's very helpful to get your cards cycling properly. <clears throat> So that, that third slot to me in round one is always the hold slot. The slot you want to play it in to get the card back in the same round. But I guess instead of three round three, it'd be round five. If you play it round one, you'll get it in round three. So stuff like that. Now we go into round two. Same com concept still applies. If you play slot one now, right here, you will draw that card again in round, uh, I'm sorry, turn one of round five. 
So, do, is there anything I want in that turn? Yes, I want Door to Hell. And we could probably play Dutch now, even though... Eh, actually, let's hold that. In case we end up behind here. What I'll do is I'll play Dutch at the start of round four in slot one. That way, I can draw it round five, turn three, if I need it. So that's how that works. If you want to play... You're gonna the first two slots in round four, you will draw back round five, turn three, as long as you consistently play those three cards. So that is a strategy. Try to keep your cards in mind when you go to play on that round four if you think there's gonna be a, a fifth round, which we might not make it that far, but it is still good practice. Let's do you. All right, I don't think we're going to round five, guys, so you can see for sure. But hopefully that explained it a little bit better for those of you that weren't 100% sure. The cards do come back in order that you play them, so it does matter where you play the cards. So just keep that in mind for future games, and uh, hopefully that helps you guys out. Uh, as always, appreciate you guys tuning in, checking me out, and uh, hopefully you like the deck. We got to see Nazinga in action. She seemed pretty good. I mean... I didn't really have any complaints with her. We were definitely getting cards buffed up, so uh, I like it. But uh, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.